Hi, it's me again with laser tips and tricks, and I've been wanting to do this video for a little while. Uh, I got hold of some laser tape, some laser mask tape from Iconic Imaging. It's a little pricey, but it's six inches by, I think, 100 feet. Uh, it'll last you a long time. So I had someone tell me that they needed to engrave on some white marble and they were going to try to paint fill it, and somebody told them they could vector, and I never had vector anything on a tile. So this one was raster. This is what I normally do on black granite. I don't ever do any paint filling, but it, it does a really good job. This one, I actually vectored out, and you can see the porousness of it. Uh, I believe the paint, it's a little bit deeper, so the paint would maybe stick better, uh, have a little bit more room to stick. But the third one, I sandblasted out, and it's by far deeper and actually quicker. Uh, this took, this is a very big D, probably four inches. Took like three minutes to raster, took three minutes to vector because it's going over and over and over. This only took a couple of four seconds to cut the tape out and then you peel the tape away and, and take it to your sandblaster. Now, a lot of laser people have sandblasters and some of you don't. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can get into it really cheap. Uh, these three are all from Harbor Freight. This one's 20 bucks. This is a gravity fed. In this particular one, you're gonna lose your sand. Uh, so you're just gonna use a cheap sandblasting sand. Just do it outside. Then you go from cabinets from $120 to $179. This is a bench top. This was this is a little bit different. This is gonna, I'm not even sure that this one comes with the, the sandblasting unit. It I I didn't really do my research, but you can this is gonna come with your hoses and you hook up the compressor, it's actually a siphon, and you can see all the sandblasting particles collect on the bottom, and there's, there's a pickup tube that just keeps using. In this type, you're gonna use something like aluminum oxide, and I have a quite a bit bigger cabinet, uh, and I, I use aluminum oxide, and I bet it lasts two years. Of course, it keeps getting finer and finer, but it still does the job. That's what I did this with. You're gonna get a lot better kind of a look, you know, those are almost the same, and this is just a little bit uh, more defined. You know, this the laser is fracturing the granite, and in this case, it's really fracturing, and in this case, it's just kind of sanding it, basically. So, I'm not suggesting you get some of this tape, but it does work, it stays on. Uh, basically, what it does, the sandblasting particles just bounce off of it. And then it's real easily to just peel off. I mean, there's, you could peel it off with your thumbnail. There's no problem with it. But I'm gonna make a second part of this with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks on how to make this raster work. So uh, just something to think about. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.